It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got another beer from Rita's Pantry. Thank you so very much for Rita's Pantry for sending us the beer. It is a beer by Vault City Brewing. Rather large, what do we have here? 660 bottle, 375ml. It looked bigger than that. 375ml uh, bottle, 10.3% ABV. Fruits of the Forest, triple stacked breakfast waffle a modern sour beer I, I, hopefully I, I got a little bit of hope for this um with it being 10.3 percent abv i think the alcohol by volume might play a difference in me um perhaps enjoying this beer i'm going to come straight out of the bat here so i don't waste anybody's time I'm not really a fan of these modern sour beers. So if you've come here to to um, wish and to hope that I'm going to love this beer, uh, then I'm just going to give my honest opinion. I'm just going to give my honest view, my honest opinion. Um, the best thing we can do is get cracking. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. But for me, the saving grace could possibly be that 10.3% ABV. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's quite gloopy. It's quite, uh, it's created a two to three finger pinkish head. Give the bottle a bit, bit of a wash round, wash it round, get that sediment from the bottom of the bottle into your glass. It's very hazy, very thick, very sorbet-like. I think the word at this stage is not hazy. I think when you're talking about a modern fruit beer, a modern sour beer, as they like to call this, um, I think hazy is not the word to use. I think it's kind of, is it looking like a sorbet? And yeah, this is looking like a sorbet, a uh, two-finger very like pinky head. Uh, let's get the aroma then. You can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Here we go. Uh, wow, what is it again? Fruits of the forest, triple stack breakfast waffle. Well, it's very pastry like without calling it a pastry beer. They Called it a waffle beer, which is, 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 triple stack waffle is very similar to calling something pastry, isn't it? Um, so lots of vanilla and fruit. Mixed fruit like raspberries, blueberries, maybe blackberries. It's got an interesting aroma. Uh, to say the least. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Do you know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you now and say I've just come off the back of reviewing two Vault City canned sour beers that are available in Tesco and um, I found them completely undrinkable. Um, so what I decided to do last night, because some of you know that I do my reviews in sessions, so the night before I'll choose my beers, I'll line them up, I'll sort the thumbnails out for the YouTube video and then I'll review them the next day. Um, so I thought, right, this there's three Vault City beers in my fridge. I'm going to review the three Vault City beers. Um, of, of course, leaving the big 10.3% ABV bottled sour, modern sour beer to last. Uh, the two canned beers uh, made me very angry, um, to say the least. Um, I couldn't drink them. I rated them very badly. Um, this, however, this, however, seems to have had 
a little bit more time and effort put into it. Um, it's a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more beery, should I add? Dare I say it? It's a little bit more kind of like a beer. A kind of remotely kind of going towards being a sour beer. I'm picking up little bits of rhubarb. I'm actually liking this. I'm actually liking this one. I'm actually kind of almost kind of <laughs> shoulders are up and kind of almost kind of snarling my teeth and, 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 and going into this quite almost aggressive, but now 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 reviewing it and going ah, a good one. A good one. Because for the rants that I gave the two canned craft beers in Tesco. They've obviously been brewed at a price point. They've obviously been brewed for that kind of three to four pound range of beer. And this hasn't been, this is, you know, this is the difference. The difference between the Tesco cans of Vault City are that they've been produced for Tesco. The difference with this is this has been produced to be sold at a bottle shop. And, and the quality for me is night and day. It's night and day. This is more for the sipping connoisseur like kind of beer drinker who wants to pull as many flavours that he possibly can out of a beer. Whereas them two can beers over there were um I was kind of going down the lines of kind of Bacardi Breezer land you know um I like the pineapple upside down that lovely Rita's pantry sent me and I'm enjoying this I'm enjoying this I'm able to pull flavors I'm able to identify flavours from this beer. I'm, I'm, I'm identifying the mixed fruits, the raspberry, the blackberry, maybe the blueberry. There's some rhubarb coming through. There's a touch of vanilla coming through. Yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. I'm pulling the flavours. There's a little bit of carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. The mouth feel is not as thick. It's not as thick and creamy. It's got a nice mouth feel. It's a nice drinkable mouth feel to the beer. It's refreshing, but it, it it's still medium mouth feel. I'm picking up malt as well. I'm picking up that kind of waffle, that kind of slightly kind of sweet biscuity malt going on. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Um, thankfully, thankfully. And I think that might be the 10.3% ABV also. I think that the fact that it's quite, well, it's definitely imperial strength. There's just enough going on. There's just enough going on for me to really appreciate what I've got going on in this glass. I like the colour. As you rock the beer back and forth, look, you can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. There's nice lace in. Yeah, something something I'm really kind of happy to get on board with here. There's a lovely level of sweetness to begin with. There's a little bit of bitterness. There's a little bit of that kind of alcohol burn on the back of the throat. Sliding down, hitting the pit of the stomach. Yeah, I'm definitely on board with this beer, thankfully. Um, if you, like me, have gone down the route of buying the cans of beer from Tesco, the Vault City beers, and you've not really enjoyed it, then perhaps either visit their website, 
and pick up a 375 milliliter bottle of their beer maybe a stronger version of their beer or maybe maybe pick it up if you see it at a local bottle shop and you see it and you want to try it and enjoy it maybe maybe do that because if you bought the beers from the supermarket and you've not liked them then the problem with that is you may never return to Vault City. You may never return and buy one of their beers again. I think um, even though I, I've i drank maybe six or seven different Vault City beers now. And I'm definitely on the fence. Some of their beers I really like. I think they're terrific. But some of the beers I, I, I find completely undrinkable. It, it, it's completely undrinkable beer. And... Um, it was a real struggle to really contain my emotions when I was kind of drinking those beers. Um, I was talking about uh, about just just going back and uh, and buying bottled beers from the supermarket and and retreating into my kind of comfort zone, which I'm never about. I'm never about that. I like to try new stuff. I like to try kind of weird and wacky stuff. Of course, I do new styles that's why i'm in the beer world that's why i like to drink all these different beers that are out there and um, your beer education is never over trust me it is never over but it, that that pushed me that pushed me like against the fence that did where i was thinking if beer carries on going down this road this direction of pastry stouts and these modern sour beers that are just quite frankly terrible then I'm just going to revert back to drinking bottled beers in the supermarket. Bottled beers from the bottle shops and, 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 and stuff that I know. And that's not me. That's not why I got involved in beer. This is superb. This is superb. The more I'm drinking this, the more I'm enjoying it. Take a deep breath. Now say Fruits of the Forest triple stack breakfast waffle. It did scare me. I'm not going to lie. It did scare me. Our latest creation combines our favourite fruits with our favourite breakfast to make a beer that's stacked with flavour. It has rhubarb in it. There we are. Blackberries, rhubarb, strawberries, apples and raspberries. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm glad I picked up Rhubarb. I, I never read the bottle beforehand. I never do. Um, thank you very much to Rita's Pantry um, for this beer. I'm ready to rate it. Based in Edinburgh. I've been to Edinburgh. I've actually brewed my own collaboration in Edinburgh. I'll show you. Um, I brewed a Saison. A Berry Saison with Top Up Brewery about five or six years ago. Weirdly, that uh, you know, perhaps we were too ahead of the game back then, um, because that that beer did well, um, but it didn't do as well as kind of the the other Edinburgh brewery are doing with it. Um, I'm going to rate it. Nice lacing on the glass, lovely look, good carbonation. Yeah, this is much more like it. I like this. I really like it. I'm pulling different fruits. It's sweet. A nice alcohol burn with that 10.3. Yeah, that's tremendous. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.